Four years ago, Ryan and his wife Emily relocated to a new city and found their dream neighborhood. When I saw this place, I knew that it would be a, a really good investment because it's in a fantastic neighborhood. The location itself is awesome, but in order to get in the neighborhood, we bought the worst house on the block. The idea was that we would tackle a lot of the issues with this house. And a couple of days after we closed on the house, we found out that she was pregnant with our first son, Jack. And so things just didn't get done at the same pace that we wanted them to. I thought it was going to be finished by the time we had Jack and Gwen. But here we are four years later, and it's not finished. All my family members are all out of state. Hi. We have a lot of visitors come to stay from out of town. It's not like they're popping in and out. They're staying for a couple of nights. When guests are over and we have to move Gwen into our bedroom, that does not work for me. And then the dining room turns into the other guest space, which we have to use a blow up air mattress. You guys are gonna love this air mattress. I don't want our friends and family camping in our dining room anymore. There is room in this place where we can make space for our friends and for our family to come and stay with us. We have a great unfinished third floor. The third floor, we just use it for storage. We can make it work, certainly. So Ryan's job is in Cary. When we moved here, we knew it was gonna be somewhat of a drive, but the commute has turned into an hour long drive and it cuts in his time with the kids. Having a home office would be great. There is no way a home office is gonna work anywhere in this house. This is our first house and I don't wanna give up on that. Let's get your shoes on. I would love to have a mudroom that has a space for when the kids come in. And then having the laundry room and the guest bathroom in the same space is just not practical. Just gotta change the laundry. I don't think I've ever seen a laundry room and a bathroom put together. We can fix that and then we're good to go. Oh, just like that? Yeah. The kitchen is great, but I am embarrassed by this kitchen floor. It's the original, it has original stains still that I can't get out. I understand, but that's a quick fix. It's not like that's something that we cannot repair. The person that's gonna buy this house, they can live with the floor. The master bedroom is the most neglected space in our house. The bedroom kind of reminds me of a college dorm. We don't even really like to go in there. It just needs some attention. It needs someone to come in and turn it into a special place for us. The master closet, it's small. There's really no storage. It's a little ridiculous trying to get dressed, making sure I don't knock stuff over. It's a disaster. That's a really easy fix. They're not gonna be quick fixes. Absolutely there. Now, I've done an evaluation here. Current value is 284000 Sounds about right. right. Yeah. So, what do you need from me? We are looking for a house that's gonna have four to five bedrooms, three bathrooms, an open concept kitchen, a large mudroom, and we'd also like to have a separate laundry room. Did I not say separate laundry? And you said, <laughs> no, nah, this is perfect. It's not what I no. said. No. Yes, it is. No. No. Okay, continue. Okay, so what we'd also want is a large master bedroom with an ensuite and a nice closet, fully landscaped yard, and then, ideally, same neighborhood. Uh, let's think closer to your work. What's the budget for that house? $400,000. It's a reasonable budget, and I think if we can sort of look outside the neighborhood Absolutely. a little bit, Absolutely. that will go a long way mm -hmm. to getting you guys exactly what you want. I agree. All right, over to you. OK, so your house is adorable. Thank you. Clearly, there's some things that ideally would get done, but you tell me what you'd like in your renovated home from me. We need to create a guest room create an additional bathroom for the guests, renovate the master bedroom and closet, renovate the master bathroom, create a large mudroom, create a laundry room. We need a home office, landscape the backyard, and we definitely are gonna need new kitchen floors. They gotta go. That's quite the list. Yeah. So um, what's my budget? We have $110,000. We worked hard trying to save that money. It may be a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money for what you're asking me to do, it just isn't. So there's two things I can tell you right now you're not going to get. I'm not going to landscape your backyard, and I'm not going to remove your linoleum floors. Are you hearing yeah, what's that, happening that's, here? I mean, that's, Things that's are getting really cut. Important. If you're going to get her to stay, that's something Listen, that's really Listen, you know what? It's OK, because the next homeowner is going to do them. Absolutely. Because we'll be gone. Either way, works out good for me. All right, look. <laughs> All right, the fact is I'm going to capitalize on the space that you have to create a home that works for you. Yep. And I am sure that when I'm done, you're going to love it. We trust you. Time will tell. Actually, that's not what's going to happen. Because when I find you the perfect house that has everything plus, the only thing you're going to be saying about this house is list it. It's over. You might as well give up now. Game on. Yes, absolutely. All right. Be a challenge. I'm excited.
Over at Ryan and Emily's house, demolition is in full swing. Downstairs, the cramped side entrance to their house is opened up as their small porch is taken over to give them more space for a proper mudroom. Upstairs, construction manager Eric's already had to put out smaller fires on his own, but this time, he's ringing the alarm bell. Hi there, what's up? I actually have some other news that I have to tell you. Is it good news or bad news? I guess I'll wait till you get here. I don't want you to have an accident. What's happening? What do you mean, what's happening? That's my question to you. All right, here's the deal. The hot water heater that's on the first floor, you know, the one in the little exterior closet? Yes. This hot water heater is only feeding the main floor. The hot water tank that's in the attic is feeding the second floor. Um. Basically, we need two systems. So if I eliminate this one, I need to repipe the whole house. Here you go. You're going right. to have to climb up. What? This was your side entry with your powder this room and laundry. Is unrecognizable. So no. here's the thing. I know you wanted your separate yes. laundry room. Right. Really important. Really important. And so my solution was, you know, you've got that little exterior area there. Yeah. I yeah. was just going to push on through, and that's how I was going to solve sure. it for Good. you. Yeah. It was yeah. so perfect. Yeah. Except it wasn't. Mm -hmm. First of all, the water heater had to stay put. But more importantly, we had that electrical panel in there, which right. I knew had to be moved. Okay. So it's still going to work in this space? You will still have, in this area, mudroom, you will still have your laundry and you will still have your two-piece. But nevertheless, you're not going to have a designated laundry room. That's a bummer. I'm sorry. Look, yeah. it's going okay. to become way more functional than it was. You got to remember, too, what's really yeah. important is the guest space. Just being able to host our family. It's mm -hmm. true. Let's just it's hang true. on to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. All right. So, yes. I want to show you what I'm putting on the floor here. Great. Oh. Ta-da! I like it. Do you? Yes. So this is going to go whoosh, all the way through, right? This like, is going to is... go all the way through this area we're standing in. Good try. I Get can't you do your whole kitchen. The, the, the linoleum is slowly killing her. I realized that you said that in the beginning, which I'm not going to lie. That was a little harsh to hear right off the bat because that's where we spend so much time with our friends and families and the kids. And I get it. Yeah. But I have to keep my eye on what you truly want to need in this house. So honestly, can't we just let the kitchen floor okay. go? I think I may have a house that Emily and Ryan are going to both agree with. It's incredible. It's got five bedrooms, three bathrooms, open concept where they want it. It's got a large master bedroom with ensuite and closet. It's in a great neighborhood, and it's closer to Ryan's work. Now, the price tag. It's a bit of a challenge, but I think it's workable. Nice job. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is the type of neighborhood yeah. we want to be in. Yeah, this is this amazing. Is beautiful. In terms of your work, how does it sit? It's a bit closer. And look wow. at that house. I'm kind of speechless. Let's go have a look. All right, let's go. Mm. Oh, my gosh. You walk in, and you get this <laughs> incredible feeling of space. Yeah. It's so open. I love it. You've got your formal living room area. It's beautiful. It's so nice. We're here, the formal dining room yeah. area. <laughs> I mean, this is great. This we is could really actually nice. entertain this yeah. space. Hosting family, family, having friends come to visit. Yeah. Okay, check this out. All right. This is comfortable. Oh, my God. Okay. This is perfect. This the is flow here is amazing. This is so unlike what you're living in right now. Yeah. This is total yes. night and day. And you've got a great this, kitchen. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I love this. It's great. Yeah. And you've got sort of a little bit of a mudroom right here, yeah. but I actually think it has a massive garage, which means a lot of it can actually just be mudroom. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I know. And the thing I love about this guest space is, is that it's on the main floor. Wow. This is great. Now, what is Hillary doing for you? Hopefully getting a bonus room on the third floor. Right, with the bathroom and stuff like that. No, unfortunately, no. we lost the bathroom. <laughs> so if they want to use the bathroom, they have to come downstairs. Yes. As opposed to this. OK, let's see some good stuff. Having it right next to the bedroom. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, that's yeah, nice. I mean, this makes sense. <laughs> Guest it room, really makes sense. bathroom. Yeah, this is really convenient. Very convenient. Yeah. I really like convenient. that. All right, let's go upstairs. Have a look. <gasps> OK. Man. Bet you weren't expecting that one. Let's go see the kids' bedrooms. Right. Well. Kids' bedroom number one. Man, 
This is so perfect. Mm -hmm. And what makes it totally awesome is that there is a bedroom exactly this size right across the hallway. Right. And what connects the two bedrooms? Their own bathroom. Oh, How yeah. perfect is that? It's perfect. Are you just a bit excited? Cannot wait. Come on in. Oh my goodness. Oh. This. Oh my word. It's beautiful. Look oh, at how much space big. you have it as a bedroom. This changes the way the house functions for you. Yeah. Works perfectly well as a laundry area. Yeah. Absolutely. It's got a great vibe. So now you probably want to look at the bathroom. Yeah. This is so oh, nice. Oh my word. It just yeah. feels like you added so much space. And you gave up a porch to get it, and it's like, porch? What porch? Who cares? I know. So I think what you've gained is amazing. Yeah. Happiness. Yes. Wow. <laughs> this used to be our dining room. So this was going to be your office, Ryan, but I wanted to surprise you with a second guest room and move your office upstairs. This is spectacular. It's beautiful. We're near at least a two-piece bathroom. Certainly, you could get somebody staying here for five nights. This is much better than a blow-up bed. It makes it really kind of emotional. Aww. <laughs> Let's go. So we really get to go yeah, see our bedroom now? Yeah. Our door is gone. You no longer <laughs> have an entry there to your bedroom. What you have is a lovely hallway, and that now leads into your bedroom. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. This is a smaller bedroom. It's a perfect size. It's beautiful. So now your bathroom is straight through that door. It's beautiful. Very elegant, very functional, and timeless. It is a space that is your sanctuary. It's so beautiful. Wow. So the only thing we're missing is somewhere for you to hang your clothes. Oh, wow. Wow. You've got drawers here. You've got double hanging there. You've got shelving for shoes and stuff. We'll have to get more clothes. This is fabulous. <laughs> Oh, my word. In terms of what you wanted, other than not having a bathroom up here, this is a really great space for guests. It's yeah. a great space for kids, and it mm. gives Ryan a home office. It's awesome. How you've used yeah. all the space is, is great. Oh, and you know what I haven't shown you yet? I did a little bit of um, just really cleaning up downstairs. Let's just go take a look. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is amazing. I love this floor. So I just want you to just, you know, hold on to this. Decision made? Yes. Yeah, decision made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We have decided we're going to list it. Yes! I love it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, uh? <laughs> I know, really? I know. Ultimately, there's still a lot left to be done here. And the other house, everything's done in a perfect location, close to work. I mean, I feel like we win twice, because yeah. with all the work that's been done here, we can mm -hmm. sell it for so much more than we anticipated. So and that true. gives us the flexibility to go to a place that we really feel like we can grow into.